Welcome, Marco Artist SPT, the episode 456. I'm your host, The Wiz, today, and I this is it's pretty stupid of me, right? Because these are not wireless headphones. So let's plug in the wire so I can hear myself. I actually wear these headphones not because I want to hear myself, although I do love hearing myself talk. That's kind of why I do the show. But also, where does this part go? Oh, it goes in here. But also, I do this show now. Oh, the headphones. The purpose of the headphones. Can you hear me now? Can I hear me now? Can I hear me now? No. Can I hear me now? Oh, my beautiful voice is coming into my own head. That's perfect. I wear these headphones because I don't comb my hair before the show. My hair's like, hey, guys, I'm going over here. And so I put the headphones on so you can't tell how lazy I am. And then you're like, oh, that man has very good hair. I'm sure you think that. And so that's the purpose of the headphones. But every now and then I notice that I don't have them plugged in. So let's see. What do we got here? Oh, I got some challengers here at this website, lichess.org. Let's play with Sacker. Ooh, I want to play with this guy. I want to play with this guy. Since again, Jaja. I want to play with him because in the chat, which you can't see if you're on YouTube, so come to the live show, twitch.tv slash chesswiz, Sundays at uh, 11 a.m. Eastern. Okay, that's enough advertising for me. Let's talk about what we're about to do here. And after you come to the chat, you can see what he says in the chat, which is, I love chess whiz. Thank you so much. Okay, I was, I'm done promoting myself. Let's Let's talk. Hi. The rules are, if you capture all your opponent's minor pieces, you win. Because we always play a crazy chess variant on this show. I used to stream chess, and then I realized I'm really bad at chess. So I changed it up, so now we just play different rules every time. And that's the now the rules this time. So sometimes I do a thing that's not a thing, but usually that's what we do. Let's see. The rules are, if you capture all your opponent's minor pieces, you win. So I should point out that's knights and bishops. So here's the plan, guys. <laughs> I did some thinking before the show, which is super rare. Usually, first I come online, then I start the stream, then I'm like, okay, thinking, go. And I come up with some bad ideas. But here, I prepared this genius opening. And the reason it's so smart, get over here, microphone, is because, get ready for this, rooks are not minor pieces. They're pretty major, right? So if I could trade this rook for, say, a bishop, Bishop, you notice this rook could move here if it transports the temporal dimension into the future of capturability. Then he'll have fewer minor pieces than I do. And look how scared he is. He's like, oh, I don't want a rook. That's, that's super bad. So, so he's going to have a big problem in his face right here. As soon as I check him, check. Actually, as soon as I take something, this is dumb. As soon as I take something with this rook, that wasn't a brilliant move. Actually, let's <laughs> let's go over here because I'm so smart. So I was watching my own show the other day because I don't really have anything to do with life except um, amuse myself in several different manners. And as I read the comments to the episode, the comments said something. Someone said something like this. Hey, man, why don't you show like some variations of chess instead of some variants? And what he meant was like play a real chess game and be like, if I go here and he goes there and I go here, then look at this knight. Wow. Basically, he wanted to get better at chess. He wanted me to teach him some some elite chess skills. And I, I was going to reply. I was going to say, dude, there's other streamers who stream great chess. You know, like go watch them. I was going to write this really long message about how I suck, basically. But then I didn't do it because I'm kind of lazy. And then another fan replied to him. So thank you, other fan who I've forgotten your name because you saved me a lot of typing. And that means my thumbs are fully rested this morning because it was on my phone as I was going to do that. So I took my thumbs and I said to myself, thumbs, good job resting and being lazy and putting things off. Actually, I don't talk to my thumbs usually, but every now and then I do. It's important to make them feel welcome. After all, if your thumbs get depressed, uh, if your thumbs get depressed, I actually didn't prepare the end of that sentence. If your thumb gets depressed, dot, dot, dot. I need you to comment below the video if you're watching on YouTube. What is the finishing line for that sentence? If your thumbs get depressed... So if you're wondering how to finish that sentence, check the comments. If you don't see any comments about that, yes, you're the first person to watch this video. Put your comment in there and tell us what happens if your thumbs get depressed. But anyway, the point was his reply. Okay, I'm going to trade bishops. So what you notice there, what happened on this chessboard is that he took my rook. Ha, he fell in my trap. So now he has no bishops at all. Let's count them. Zero. Okay, that was easy. Now let's count the knights. He has all his knights. So all I have to do, capture those knights. Instant win. How do I get those knights? Well, this one's easy to get. Watch. Doot. The other knight might be more difficult. What we need is a kind of an open position. We need we need a friendly exchange of, say, knights and ideas. 
especially knights. So let's see if we can open up the center with a little bit of d5, maybe a little... Oh, oh, he's just opening it right up. I was thinking he was going to push because he's trying not to open the center, but no, he's on my team, apparently, bringing his knights forward for me. I appreciate that, man. So now let's capture those knights. So here I'm going to attack his knight. Oh, I can just take his knight. <laughs> Why would I attack his knight when I could take his knight? Fantastic. Now there's just one knight left to go. I have to checkmate that knight here. It should be easy. Um, I'm actually interested in this, even though I shouldn't be, because um, it is a cool-looking move. You know, oh, look how far I move my bishop, and this is among the furthest that bishops move in a chess game. Look at that, how many squares? One, two, it's a whole bunch of squares, so yeah. I deserve some praise for that. So anyway, the comment below the comment, my, my friend who saved me the trouble and rested up my thumbs, he said, and I quote, if you're watching Chess Wiz TV to improve at chess, you're going to have a bad time. Good comment indeed. Uh, that's not why I watch Chess Wiz TV, by the way. I'm not going to capture any of this stuff. I'm going to go for the knight. So it's like, oh, free pawns. Ha <laughs> ha, I got your knight, man. I'm a winner. So now let's just fork him right here in the face and take the knight, which makes me win. Good job, says Kaski, but you captured my rook. That was your blunder, and I am the winner. GG. Thank you for playing the variant on the variant show. He says, oh, no, but he also says, which is Polish, by the way. It means help. I can't speak English. What did that mean? Now, you notice it's very important to type clearly when you type, because uh, otherwise the opponent... The other person who's trying to read this won't know what it says. So, for example, the A and the E, they're interchangeable, but I recommend the A first because it kind of gives emphasis to the word. And then the other the other typos here are also very important. Let's play him again. He's sending love, which probably means he's hom homosexual. That's generally what it means. Hope you have a great day. Oh, he's just saying bye-bye. Okay, let's challenge one of these other people. I generally try to give people two games because after the first game, they're like, huh, I was unlucky. And then after the second game, they're like, huh. Guess Chess Wiz is super good at chess better than I am. So I try to give them two games so that they can reach that epiphany. One game isn't quite enough to reach that. But, you know, sometimes, sometimes it just takes one. As you saw in the chat there, he's like, I love you, Chess Wiz. I got to go because I just realized you're better than me. Bye. That's kind of the gist of what I was reading into that. By the way, if you're confused about that interpretation, you should understand that people do not see reality as it is. They see reality as they interpret it. And that, uh-oh, uh-oh, my, my phone thinks I'm talking to it. It says on the screen of my phone, it says, hey, Siri, because I have one of those phones. What is he doing? Sorry, I'm so distracted. Stop it. Oh, I said, hey, Siri, for real this time. Stop it. Stop phone. I don't want a phone. And stop. Man. Okay, it stopped. Definitely not going to say, hey, hey, Siri, again. Ah, it happened again. Stop it. Okay, we're ready for chess. How do I capture that queen? I'm thinking I'm almost out of time. Do you see that? Eight seconds? He's not going to trade his queen for a knight. That would be stupid pants for him to do. Certainly not always coming for my knight, though, but that's okay. He'll trade his bishop for it. That is fine. I'm thinking just play chess normally. I'm going to play d4 here. Just play chess normally. Which minor piece will I keep? So if you lose all your minor pieces, you lose. So I'm thinking I just need to keep one alive, and I'll be fine. That's going to be this one, probably. But the trick that I used last game was to uh, trade a rook for a minor piece. And that is looking highly appealing. So let's see. Can I do that? I think it's going to be very important to bring my rooks into the game. So how are you guys doing today? Hmm. I guess that's the problem with streams. It's their one way. Also something good. Wouldn't it be interesting in a live stream if you could just push a button and everyone's microphone, all two of you, activated at the same time and then I could hear you guys chewing? That maybe wouldn't be as awesome as I first imagined. However, at least we'd be a little more connected. There's nothing like hearing someone chewing in your ear to feel very connected to them. Uh, okay, he's doing something very odd here. Something like bad moves. Did you invent that concept? No, he got it from me. He's probably a regular watcher. He's like, hey, I'm Pie Guy. I watch Chester TV. That's where I got the idea for bad moves. Like <laughs> this one. Now, I don't want to make him feel dumb, but that was a dumb move. So, you know, if that's collateral damage to sharing that information, 
too bad for you. Let's see if I can capture one of these remaining minor pieces, though. I mean, we each have three, so that, that part's pretty close. But if I can get one of those knights, yeah. Oh, it's not really pinned, though. He can just move it. It's not like he's going to... It's not like he's going to lose it. Oh, I really want to take one of his minor pieces here. Is he going to take this? He, he might get checkmated, actually. <laughs> if he if he took here, I'm like, Shazam, he wants a take back. Yeah, please take a take back. <laughs> Watch that. I'm going to take here. And then I'm just going to checkmate him, which I love checkmating my opponents. I mean, there's a couple things I really love. One of them is almonds with chocolate. Mm. And then the other thing, checkmating my opponents right up there, like right below almonds. with. I mean, if I'm playing chess, it's like, what are, what are my favorite things to do? What, should, what would I rather do in a game of chess? eat almonds with chocolate and then if i don't have that alternatively checkmate my opponent it's up there it's up there okay so the idea here is i will take his knight for free because if he recaptures i will checkmate him that's the plan let's do it right now take his knight for free that's step one okay step two. Oh, okay and then checkmate him okay if it falls to oh there's a step three take a free rook let's do that next do 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 hey pie guy let's go ggg GG stands for great game, also known as it's time for you to resign. I used to play the game StarCraft. You ever heard of that game? And I was playing StarCraft once. I'm going to play this guy again so that he's really sure that I'm the better player. So I was playing StarCraft once, and I'm, you know, I'm doing all the things, because if you're good at StarCraft, you're like doing all the things all the time, pushing all the buttons. you got to be pushing all the buttons all the time. No kidding. And... Suddenly, I'm being overwhelmed by the zerglings, and I'm going, my base is all zerglinged up. And then all of a sudden, he sends me a message. GG. It was like that. Like, during the game, there was no back rank checkmate, but there's a lot of zerglings. He's like, GG. And I was so offended because you know me. I am so easily offended. Like, if you walk up and you say, hi. I'm like, dude. You don't even care about me. You didn't even say hello. You said hi. You shortened it up. And I bet you even just clicked the button down there that says hi because you're too lazy to type H. I am not worth it to you. Totally offended. So as you can see, very offended person. And when he said GG, super offended because he was basically saying, you know, you're kind of wasting my time by not resigning yet. That's what the G's stood for, in my opinion. What is he doing? He's crazy. I'll just, I'll just move over here. This is, this is in all the opening books. Knight H6 to prevent the weakness on F7 from becoming a problem. Also, it demonstrates your high intelligence. My intelligence. My intelligence is high right now. Have you noticed? I think it's all the marijuana. Hmm. Oh, what about this? Oh, yeah. He's going to love this. Because, look, he takes the bishop, and if I recapture, I'll get forked. So I definitely won't take that queen for free. Try it. There is an interesting twist, which is if you capture all your opponent's minor pieces, you win. But he's probably forgotten about that by now. So I think we're, I think we're pretty good. Let's let's get the rooks in the game, seriously. I'm actually going to think about castling queenside. I'm going to go here and go there because... Um, why am I going to... I don't really know. Like most people, I've got no idea what I'm about to do. The reason for... I didn't get all the words into that sentence. I'm trying that sentence again. Like most people, I've got no idea of the reason for what I'm about to do. There we go. That's what I'm trying to say. I wonder why I'm about to do that. I mean, we have the, the macro idea, which is I love checkmates, so let's see if I can do one of those. But in the bigger picture, like, why am I sitting in a chair without any pants on, rambling? No one's even talking to me. I'm just, like, in an empty room, filling the sound waves with pressure waves. That didn't make sense. And I don't know why, actually. Maybe it's because it's, it's it, it makes me feel good. That's probably why. Yeah. Also, Michelle is supporting $10 a month. Thank you, Michelle, on Patreon for doing that. I just have to mention you every week now because I love that and you in that order, by the way. And so that's, of course, why, oh, he took my bishop because I would feel super guilty if I didn't do this now that I'm receiving that from you, Michelle, because I'd be like, oh, no, I'm receiving a thing and that's not fair. Not fair. I have a, I have a very strong sense of fear fairness just like all humans except for the person i was just with who was like taking all the things for himself i was in an environment hmm, just just recently like yesterday and in that environment the person was no sense of fairness demonstrated he was like i am mr selfish i was shocked it turns out there's like a 
personality defect of selfishness, and I was witnessing it for the first time. It's very interesting. It was very interesting, guys, because you know from watching 456 episodes of Chester TV just how weird I am. Like, my personality is is pretty rare, but then of the, oh, my time, I've, I've zero. You see that 4.0? Four, four it's because you get four every move. You get four every move, so I just came up from zero back to life. Uh, my personality is pretty rare, and I'm rare inside my personality. Super, super rare guy. So you guys can appreciate rare people, but it turns out there's there's this rare kind of person that doesn't care about other people. Maybe you've met someone like that. It's not like, you know, I, I'm more important to myself than you. Let's be honest. Everyone's more important to themselves than you are. But it's not like I'm considering you, considering me, and even though I'm more important, I'm going to use this balanced approach to navigate life without totally screwing you. No, that was not this situation. By the way, I tried to get forked here. I'm going to trap him into taking my rook. It's a trap because if you lose all your minor pieces, you lose. Let's double check with the pie guy that he's really playing that way because I just won a knight for only a rook. So this guy, I don't really want to trade queens, actually. I'm going to go after his bishop <laughs> because it's his last bishop. I don't care about this because this is checkmate right now. His bishop's in check, if you know what I mean. I'll get out of check, yeah. Uh, yeah, this person is like, you don't matter. Like, if there's a gigantic rock on your leg, I'll be like, hmm. I just win your bishop and win. win. Hmm. This kind of person, like, oh, that's a very interesting rock over there. So me, I have, I have at least a little, and I'm a pretty low empathy guy. Like, if I can ruin your life in exchange for enriching mine, I might, might do that. I might do that. But I would consider the fact that I'm ruining your life. But some people who, who are like zero or zero empathy at this level, they would be like, that's a very interesting rock crushing your leg. Oh, you notice the shades of gray in that rock? And the fact that you're currently in pain isn't relevant to the situation. So I had that, I had that experience, and it was very interesting, very interesting. At first, I was kind of, like, bothered. But then, I'm not the kind of guy who gets bothered, so I just observed him, like, kind of like a science experiment. Like, it's really interesting how narcissistic you are. Let me watch that very closely. It was an interesting experience. Maybe you guys can tell me about those experiences. If you want to tell me about the most narcissistic person, let me know in the comments, that you have ever encountered. Now, don't use their last name, because they'll probably hunt you down and kill you, and then be like, that was very interesting, the way you died. That was a oh, fascinating experience, killing you. So don't, don't like, out yourself, but just, just in an anonymous sort of way, you should you should let me know because I'd I'd be interested. We have an opponent here, Amir Khan Lao, thirty eight. He's trying out the don't move chess variant, where you don't move. It's a pretty fun variant. All right, is anyone there? Do 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 do. It's a good song. If you don't know that song, look up "Sad Machine" by Porter Robinson. It starts with this phrase is anyone there and any song that starts like that is a good song i mean you already know before the notes start and some songs don't have any notes let's be honest but this song it's got it's got real notes in it but it starts with that phrase and it is a good song so we're looking at someone who's not there so we're gonna abort that and find someone who's already been born because <laughs> that's a pun by the way abort that get it it's a little in bad taste but I did say I was low empathy. That's that's the warning. I might I might offend you in this show. So don't worry about that. Oh, bad news, guys. By the way, I just found out I have kidney disease. That's pretty bad. It turns out I have stage one kidney failure. Now, that's the bad news. But there is good news, okay? So first, let's all absorb the fact that Cheswiz has stage one kidney failure, okay? Okay, now... Now that you're feeling sorry for me, maybe you're sending me flowers or, more importantly, supporting me on Patreon, uh, which is, by the way, patreon.com slash chesswiz. If you're just wondering where that is, you can, you can go there and support me. This guy's AFK also. Send him some punctuation. And also, some of these, very important to transmit these over the internet. It improves your self-worth. Okay. Now that that sympathy is fully in effect, I'll share the good news. The good news is... Oh, he's here. That's that's not all the good. There's more good news. The good news is stage two kidney failure is called mild, and stage one is called normal. Stage one kidney failure is your kidneys are functioning normally, so you are in stage one. 
gotcha. Don't cancel that Patreon support, by the way, just because I goaded you into it. You should leave that because like most Patreon supporters, you will soon forget that you are sending me free money. And then I will be enriched for the rest of my life until you cancel your credit card. So that's kind of nice, actually. That's a nice mechanism. There are some mechanisms where you have to actively go and do the thing each month. A, every month you have to do the thing but patreon is not that way you do it once and then you forget and forever your bank account is slowly drained it's a great feature so go get that feature because it's good for me bad for you whatever that's fine let's drink some more from this vase don't bump the microphone by the way this microphone was sent by a supporter in case you're wondering like how much you want to support like is five cents a month enough or should i do like seven cents a month like how much should I really support this guy? Because I like his hair, but on the other hand, everything he says offends me. So, you know, there's a bit of a trade-off. So what you've got to do is, is check out this microphone. This is a $300 microphone on an $80 microphone arm. It just levitates. You think this goes off to like a desk or something? It doesn't. It's just floating in air. I got the anti-gravity edition. So so that just gives you a rough, rough guideline on, on how much you should, you should donate there. It's like $300 a month benchmark like maybe 299 if you're feeling stingy that's the that's the kind of range i, I would suggest for you um no it was it was a supporter that was like you need a better microphone man and also <laughs> he didn't say man because he was a sophisticated gentleman he just said something like can i give you a better microphone and then uh and then he did very generous thank you man who did that thank you very much So now let's talk about someone besides me. I know that's very rare for this show. But let's talk about you, briefly, until I forget I'm doing that and switch the conversation back to me. See what I'm doing right here? Oops, it's already back to me. See what I'm doing? Oh, oh, look, I'm capturing a knight. Okay, that's enough about me. Now let's talk about you. Oh, you have a knight under attack. There we go. Oh, and I see you have a bishop under attack. Your minor pieces are almost dead to my rooks. And then I will win the variant. Okay, fantastic. He's running away. He's scared, probably. Let's do all the things that make him lose, which would be capture his minor pieces, because I'm almost there. Hmm. It's his turn. It's hard to win on your opponent's turn, by the way. If you're ever like losing, and you're like, I hope I don't lose in the next 10 seconds, here's the secret. Don't do anything for 10 seconds. Unfortunately for this guy, he's got nine left. So, Oh, is he about to checkmate me? That's very rude. You should not checkmate your opponent's. I'll just come closer. Or I'll make some pfft. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll make some pfft instead. This is called Luft. It's German for air, and it means you're not back rank checkmated. By the way, if you're thinking I'm going to watch this show so that I can improve at chess, what in the world is this? You can occasionally, I accidentally occasionally share chess tips. Like, don't get checkmated on the back rank. So every now and then, you do get better at chess by watching this show. I know it's rare because usually I'm making stupid moves, but occasionally I'm like, guys, look at this. I'm making some Luft. And then you're like, Luft, what's that? Oh, I'm better at chess. Because actually, no no joking here. My lips are moving, but I'm not joking. Very, very rare situation where my lips are moving, but I'm not joking. But when your pawns are three along like this and he moves a straight moving piece to the back rank, that can be checkmate sometimes. GG, I win. You can resign now. I got all your things. Oh no, my number of challengers has grown even larger. Who's the highest rated? Let's play with Amir, because he seems like someone very similar to me. Thank you for that game. I'm, I'm moving on. Usually I play two games, but I'm running out of time to play all of these opponents. Look at how populous I am, because I'm a lot of people. So we're going to have to move quickly here. That's why I'm playing d5. It's a very quick move. See if this guy is okay with the rules, because every now and then they just wander in and they're like, I don't care about rules. I just want to checkmate you. So hopefully he's going to... If I play rook h6, if I play rook h6, is he going to take my rook and then just try to checkmate? That would be so rude. Think he would do that? I don't know. Let's take a sip while we wait. Let's, let's ask him. Okay. Because these randos, they wander into the stream like, oh, a chess streamer. He's streaming on live chess. He probably wants to get checkmated. So they challenge me like, I can do that for him. No problem. I am a pro checkmater. And so he comes in here and I'm just going to test the waters with this move because I'm getting bored. He doesn't take. Okay, that's a sign. That's a sign that either he's extremely dumb or we're playing by the rules. So let's go take that bishop. 
considering his rating is almost the current year, what is it right now, 2019? And he's 1997. What, he's just off by like 22 years? So he's pretty good. The sooner you are to the present, the, the sooner you're better. That's the rule. So I have now taken a minor piece of the rook, and it only took me three short, simple chess moves to make that happen. Bring this out here. Put it right here. Whew, okay. Okay, he's making some bad moves. This is bad, very bad, because <laughs> look how bad it is. Let me explain why this is bad. He has four minor pieces. Oh, two. And if he moves the bishop out here, what's he going to do? Lose the bishop. He's almost out of minor pieces. Do you think I care about the fact that you're winning my rook? No. Well, maybe you do, but you shouldn't. Because check this out. Um... I did that on purpose. I did that on purpose. So the reason I'm doing these purposeful things is he only has one more minor piece. Okay, you might be thinking, wow, Chess Wiz, your moves are slightly worse than usual. In other words, brain dead, but no, 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 I just took his last minor piece. Okay, so if this guy is not <laughs> playing by the rules, I'm about to cry because he let... He, he, You can reg regins now. Regizen. You can regizen now. Is anyone there? Do do. Uh, I don't even. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Why did he not take my rook? I play rook h6. He's like, oh, I don't need that rook. He's gonna come to me. If I just hold really still, he's gonna fall into my trap. He's going to go take this bishop. I know he'll do it. My bishop is very attractive. And he's going to fall into the... I'm, what? I have to put some lowercase letters in here, too. Because if you do only uppercase letters, it just lowercase. Like, you're shouting, man. But if you, like, mix them up with... The, then, they're, then they're like, oh, that's an important casing. Let's send the uppercase ones, too. So since I've been playing on this website for a very long time... I'm well aware of that dynamic, and I call it a dynamic because I'm about to die. Amir, this is... Uh, this, um, well, I'm going to do the only thing I can do, just run out of time. I'm just going to sit here. I'll tell you a joke. I'll tell you a joke. I'll tell you a joke, okay? So, I don't know any jokes. I guess I'll play one more game. I guess we'll play one more game. I'm going to let the time run out in protest against this guy who is... He adds me time. Man, are you not seeing what I'm typing to you? Are you just... Oh, maybe he's from a foreign country. I should have known that because he's from Iran. <laughs> well, I ran out of this game, okay? Because you didn't read the rules. Let's see. Shawnee Sean's a cool guy. So let's play with Shawnee Sean now. Shawnee Sean, are you going to play by what we call the rules? Or are you going to embarrass me like the last guy? I mean, come on. Let's see if you can. Okay. He says, okay. Yes. Yes. This is so great. We're going to do what we're trying to do. I'm so happy. You know, this is really the secret to life is first you get your expectations really low. You know, oh, stage one kidney disease. And then you're like, oh. <gasps> My life is the same as it was before, except my expectations are better. Yay! Hmm. It's interesting how that is. The problem with that theory, though, is that the, the conclusion would be that the happiest people are the people who are most pessimistic. I've done some thinking about this because I don't really have much to do except think. And I was thinking... You know, people who are like, okay, so what's going to happen next is all my friends are going to get cancer. And then the avocado I bought is going to be brown when I open it. Which, of course, that always happens. Because good luck opening an avocado that's not brown. I mean, avocados have two states. They have, I'm not ripe yet. Ripe yet. Like you buy and it's like, wow, this thing is harder than a rock. And you smash a rock and the, and the rock breaks apart and the avocado is still there. Okay, that's stage one. And then stage two, it's like, oh, you blinked. This avocado is overripe. It's kind of mushy and brown. Have you noticed that? That's really the way an avocado works, but that's not the point. The point is the pessimism. The part about all your friends getting cancer, let's focus on that because that's kind of my style to do that kind of thing. Give all your friends cancer. 
and oh no, problems are coming into my house here. Hold on. Get out. <laughs> if you ever played Age of Empires 2, you know that if you type the right number, then the message get out comes out of the computer system. Because of those, you know, those taunts, like, it's, it's, yeah, 14, 14, start the game already. Okay, never mind. You've never heard of that. Never mind. You're all 14 years old, and that game died before you were born. Never mind. But there was this, there was this thing you could push. I think it was nine. If someone's in your base, like, stealing your house, looking at your granary or whatever buildings you have in that game, you could make his computer system say, get out which would be great don't you think we should get taunts and lichess here i mean lichess don't you think we should get that wouldn't it be great if you're sitting at the chessboard and all of a sudden your computer says what i've been saying i think that'd be great that would be okay we're gonna we're gonna make some moves here i need to get my rooks to trade for minor pieces that's really the secret to victory and then the other secret is to play with people who are playing by the rules i forgot that part last game but those two together should do it. So this rook is not doing the right things yet. Uh, but this rook, it's going to. It's going to. First, I'm going to trick him into taking this knight. I'll capture with the pawn so that this rook can come out here and be very rook-like in this area. <clears throat> I did get a comment from, from the chat here. It says, which is on topic. Thank you, Mr. Plaza, for sending that message. Because that's, that's an iconic sound from that game. If you don't know, why don't you just not find out? Uh-oh. Okay, here's the goal. The goal is to trick him into taking my rook. Come on, man. That's a very delicious rook right there. Very, very, very good. Take the rook. Come on. Oh. He didn't take the rook. Well, I seem to be getting stuck in place this game. Well, that's not too bad. Right? Uh, Shawnee Sean is defeating me. As you can see, I now have no feet. Because I've been defeated. <laughs> oh, man, I'm full of it today in more ways than one. Okay, I don't want to take that knight. I want to just dance around here. Bishops are pretty hard to capture. If they don't fall into the kinds of traps you set for them, which is free rooks. If they don't eat the rooks, bishops can be difficult. So I'm thinking, because he has all those bishops, I don't want to suicide my whole army just yet. I want to wait till those bishops are gone. Like right now, look at this. Oh, one of them's gone. Now we have to get the other one. So let's see who's ahead. I have all my rooks. He has all his rooks. We've got nine. We've got bishop. We have seven pawns against six. So we're all tied up now. My depression is almost over. Great, great chess whiz. Great. That's really good. Focus, focus now, because winning is very important. I mean, if you've got a YouTube channel and a Twitch channel where you're streaming chess, I mean, what is more important? Entertaining your viewers and getting a huge audience or alternatively winning the chess game. What do you think is more important? Like, oh no, I didn't notice that rooks can move that far. So this is pretty bad. But fortunately, I can just move back here and screw myself in the corner. And not literally. But we'll see how this goes. I'm not quite checkmated. Okay, never mind. I am quite checkmated. Hmm, that's too bad. That's too bad. Well, at least I didn't win. At least I entertained my guests instead. GG, I don't want to play with you, Shawnee Sean, anymore. You're too smart. Let's find some dumb opponents. You know, I was visiting my dad the other day. I was visiting my dad. And of course, now, if you watch the earlier Friday's episode, you might associate it. I'd be like, wow, his dad's that super narcissist he was talking about. But no, 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 certainly not. Certainly not. Not the super narcissist. It's definitely someone else. So I was with my dad, and, and, and we were at a place where we could play competitive games against other people. And he showed a proclivity you like that word we're only gonna play one more opponent here so i'm gonna pick a random number from one to four because there's four people i'm only gonna play one of them are you ready one it's pretty hard to come up with a random number you can see my focus there decline these guys i really wish i could play you but i just don't have the time i'm gonna die of old age soon but i in another in another season maybe i will Sakir Damiosia. So I was, I was with my dad, and he showed a proclivity. What kind of proclivity did he show? You're still waiting to hear. Okay, here comes the proclivity. Are you ready? Maximum proclivity release. It was a proclivity to play bad opponents. Does that seem familiar? Like, what would you rather do? Play someone who's a little better than you, usually lose, but really struggle, and learn, 
like how, be a better player. Or alternatively, okay, he just he just took my oh I moved my knight over there. <laughs> Oops, I meant to sacrifice my rook, but I traded my knight. Oh well, it's similar, similar. At least I got his bishop. Bishops are super fast, so I'm really glad I got that bishop. Let's strike out in the center. Let's go. Alternatively, play someone slightly worse than you, and like it's not really hard. You just have to kind of stay aware, not blunder anything major, uh, and then win usually. Okay, which one would you rather do? I want to hear that. I know I've already told you to comment in the chat something about lazy thumbs that are well rested, and I've already told you in the chat to comment about something else that I've forgotten. But now, the third and final comment. I want to hear what you prefer. Look at this move. Isn't that just genius <laughs> move? Rook e6 on move six, double exclam, hitting the queen to the king. Only a grandmaster would get into a position like this, I'm thinking, because the way the rook is in front of the pawn, normal people don't get rooks in front of their pawns on move six, but grandmasters and chess whiz, we do that kind of thing for sure. So I want to hear what you would prefer. Play someone who's a little bit than you really struggle you know mostly lose and hopefully improve it's a challenge big challenge or someone who's slightly worse you know it's you're relaxed it's easy you're doing a lot of winning you know you're having fun quote unquote having fun aka wasting your time so which one of those would you prefer let me know in the comments every time you guys send me a comment I read it with my eyes. I have these optic nerves. They send me messages such as your comments. So if you're ever like, I want to send a message to Chesswith, you can comment on any video, even one from years ago. For example, I got a comment on a video years ago. Years. I'm talking like three years ago because I'm old, right? Three years ago, I get this comment. No, today, relatively speaking, I get this comment for a video three years ago. And it says, does anyone else think that guy's chin is being held up by a plank of wood? I was like, great comment. I'm so glad I read this comment. I'm so glad I got this comment. Now that this guy's asking, you're right. So I replied, I'm like, yes, I think his chin is being held up by a plank of wood. Because what else can you say, right? Obviously, he's really complimenting me on my posture. So that's the appropriate response. Let's just move over here and get this rook going right on this file. It's good, good to go. Good to go. So now I want to sit up a little straighter thinking about my plank of wood comment. But anyway, the point is, if you write something, I read it. And, and that's easy for me to do because, let's be honest, I'm not that popular. So really, there's not a lot of comments to read. I mean, every day I wake up and there aren't any comments. So let, it doesn't take that much time. So yeah, we could, be, we could be good friends just simply because I don't have any. So yeah, it's a great opportunity. It's a great opportunity. Now, I must be enjoying this show because if you look at this vase, you can see most of the, what is this stuff? It's still in it. So I've been talking instead of drinking. Mm. Mm. Zero, this is my O drive. This is me going like this. Oh, but I'm turning my head the wrong way. Oh my last bishop oh how do i save this bishop guys here's the problem it's pinned to the king and it's also under attack from the rook <sighs> i'm disappointed disappointed in myself but there is good news it won't be long before i completely forget this ever happened in the meantime i'm disappointed with myself well that was fun if you enjoyed the show let me know because otherwise you know we're just gonna never Never communicate. We'll be like, this is me going through life, getting old and dying, and then this is you getting hit by something and dying, and then we never even communicated. So let me know if you like the show. I do want to hear that. This has been Chess Was TV. Thanks for watching. <laughs> what about Bishop takes Bishop? What an idiot. <laughs>